There's a lot of talk in the media about Polish Leopard 2 tanks possibly going to Ukraine and that Germany may be holding up the transfer. Well, before we get into that, this is Crisis Report here. And remember to subscribe to keep these reports coming and liking the videos helps as well. Right. Here, um, which um, Chuck Farfer retweeted out here um, from Visegrad 24, German government spokesman denies claims by Foreign Minister Baerbock, who said Germany wouldn't stand in the way of Poland sending its leopards to Ukraine. The spokesperson told Politico that it would have to be discussed in Germany's Federal Security Council. So, uh, whether it's uh, you know misspeaking or the foreign minister doesn't have, um, isn't the person who decides. Um, what happens to weapons, um, you know, transfers later on, I'm not sure, but there is still confusion over it. And let's take a look at this. This is an important um, to understand with the ongoing war in Ukraine. One, if tanks were so dead and tanks were so useless, why is Ukraine so interested in getting tanks and why are they such a hot topic here? Because if they're just targets, well, yeah, let Ukraine have some tanks. They'll just be targets and they'll get blown up. Well, there's a lot more to it than that and tanks are not dead. Now, let's look at the, the story as it's been developing. Now, this is from the BBC News. As we can see two days ago, as of recording this here, uh, I want to go down to look at a particular line here. Earlier this week, Germany has reported to have made a decision on providing tanks, which would be done on the condition the U.S. agrees to send its advanced M1 Abrams tank. Well, that is a very interesting comment. Very interesting. It's sort of like, don't blame us. We'll do it if Big Daddy USA is also doing it. We'll do it too. So we're on board with the with possibly getting um, or sending, I should say, tanks. You know, German-made tanks to Ukraine. Although they're currently in the possession of Poland. Now this is more recent, as of 16 minutes ago, or when I pulled this up. Um, Germany won't block the export of its Leopard 2 tanks, foreign minister says. Well, that's that's correct. I um, probably said it in German, I don't know, but he says they won't block it. Now, that doesn't mean that they approve it. That doesn't mean that... Um, basically, again, my understanding is Poland can do whatever it wants with the tanks. It just, if it re-exports them again without Germany's approval, and there's multiple reasons for that, um, Germany won't be selling more, supposedly, um, weapons to Poland. Whether Germany would cease selling weapons to Poland or not, because Poland transfers tanks without the approval of Germany, that's another, you know, decision-making element here, reselling um, tanks on and to who they're selling to. Basically, some of these laws that are, are done, and this will become important in just a moment, are done maybe for weapons technology transfers. You don't want to um, sell your high-tech weapons, reasonably good new weapons to, say, one country, and then they sell it on to um, some other country out there that will, um, you know, like Russia, that will take one apart and dissect it and figure out the security, things that they want to keep um, secret about the, the vehicles. And two, um, they might not want them politically exported to a nation who's doing bad things, um, even if they're old tanks, you know, 40-year-old tanks that no one cares about, you know, and, and not upgraded since that time, you don't necessarily want them sold on to someone you politically disagree with their actions. 
So there's reasons for these, and these are in the contracts that countries signed to buy high-tech weapons. You know, Taiwan is trying to buy a bunch of high-tech weapons from the U.S. Of course, part of the you know agreement would be not to then sell them on to China or some other nation. So that's just part of the contracts, and I have no idea of what's in the details of the contracts. But here's the very interesting thing. I know this story may not be as sexy as um, one of the battles going on in Ukraine, but I saw this here from Thomas Thuner. Here, I guess, is how you would pronounce that. As to why this is really just Germany trying to say no, but trying to not get the blame for saying no, um, according to this. And this is, and I have some knowledge just talking to people about some of this stuff. But let's let's read this um, tweet thread here. People forget that all U.S. M1A1s and M1A2 Abrams tanks in service with or stored by the U.S. Army are filled with a ton of depleted uranium. Every Abrams built after October 1, 1988 has depleted uranium mesh between the steel and ceramic armor plates. The U.S. won't give those tanks to anyone. Now, they loaned um, some of those tanks to the Iraqis while the U.S. was in, um, you know, uh, stationed there heavily uh, for train, you know, for setting up the new Iraqi army. And I, and when the U.S. was um, <coughs> was starting to withdraw, I was posting some concerns, and I talked to a person who was involved. And I, again, I know nothing about the details of the, just want to make this very clear, of the de, um, depleted uranium mesh and the armor package, I just know that it exists in these tanks, was over these tanks being left in Iraq. And um, this person who was involved said they had already clawed all of those um, original tanks that had been given to Ukraine back to U.S. service and replaced with other ones. They just, those were the ones initially in theater and were used um, uh, for training for a while. And it's not so much that, oh, if some spy gets into the tank that they look around and can get some information. No, they're, and they'll see that they're in sealed packages, so within it. Um, but the M1A ones without depleted, depleted uranium mesh were sold years ago to Australia, Iraq, Kuwait, Morocco, and Saudi Arabia. The problem is that this mesh is top secret. Not even the workers building the Abrams tanks at the Lima tank plant get to see it. It comes from a classified government facility and is enclosed in steel first and second generation or carbon third generation. Workers only insert plates into the Abrams. Export Abrams are taken apart completely so that the DU mesh plates can be replaced by tungsten plates. And that takes weeks. I'm sure the German government knows this. And that is why they demand Ukraine must receive Abram tanks before Germany will release Leopard tanks. This way, Ukraine gets no tanks and won't defeat. Now, this is his um, uh, commentary. Won't defeat Putin, which is what the German government wants is its policy is to keep Putin in power. I disagree that that is the German government policy. Um, I think... Policy-wise, I think um, the German government is very worried about um, spreading the wars outside of uh, the current theater of operations in and around Ukraine. I think that is very clear. So, I do think this is a... Um, a way to say, don't blame us, blame America. They're not sending their tanks, so we won't send our tanks to them when there are very solid reasons why it's going to take a long time to cut apart the Abrams at any sort of number and rebuild them um, back. And they're designed to be um, upgraded and changed, and we can see here. Um, very clearly a highly upgraded uh, Abrams tank with an active protection system uh, mounted on it there. So that is 
I'm not sure which version of the Abrams that technically is with that on it, but um, yeah, that is a highly upgraded Abrams. On the front of I don't know I'm sure we well okay I'm sure it would help sending some modern tanks to Ukraine that that part I am not in any way um, thinking it wouldn't help I don't know the um, the strategic reasoning behind um, Germany's and I don't think it's to keep Putin in power um, Germany's not wanting to um, have a clear message on it um, I can understand yeah I, do, I don't know I, I'm I, I have a bunch of speculation in my head right now and I'm uh, keeping myself from just saying it all without a better foundation but I thought it was very interesting that um, the German that Germany is trying to put the blame for not sending them on the US and there's very very good reason why the US will not send any of their current use Abrams tanks whether they can find they can dig up a few um, unsold without depleted uranium or take the time right now and cutting out the the armor packages and welding them back up with just tungsten and stuck in them i don't know whether they're doing that to get them ready um, to hand over or not but um, that um, is really just i think push pushing the um, the responsibility to the u.s and not having it on germany so I thought you might be interested in some of the background of what is going on today. Thanks, everyone. See you next time when I get more interesting stories from around the world.